Get ready guys, because we have our biggest ever house tour for you today. I've got Karingal Lodge behind me. We're in the beautiful Talabudra Valley. One of my favorite houses we've ever toured. Let's go check it out. As you approach the home, the landscaping almost gives you a taste of what's to come with this dark stone feature wall here. And would you look at that? Wrapped in that dark weatherboard, the black steel framing, and then that rectangular stone feature. It's very architectural, it's very striking. Now through the front door, and this is the kind of welcome I like, a fully stocked wine cellar ready for the lucky purchaser of this property. Now if I took you down there, we'd get to the pool and outdoor area, but I will save that for a little later on. I'm gonna take you upstairs, but before we do, just take a look at how this crazy pave flooring transitions into oak as you walk up. So as you step up onto the first floor, it's actually spread across three levels. So we make our way down to the kitchen and living and go down to the lowest of the three. So this space has been designed so that your entire focus goes out into that beautiful view there. There's artistry in these windows themselves. Those black frames, they're mirrored in the highlight windows above. It's just a beautiful little moment looking out there. And notice how that toasty oak has been introduced into the ceiling. So while it is quite a moody monochromatic palette, you still feel like you're wrapped in warmth. The boldness of this kitchen design is really brought to life by texture alone. And that brushed gun metal, the beautiful stone along the back there, and then this detailed timber veneer. While this kitchen is undoubtedly elegant in its own right, what I truly love about this design is that it almost recedes into the background, so it just lets the nature in the surrounds take centre stage. That stone feature comes up again in this dining space, and as we step up here, we enter the casual lounge sitting area. First of the bedrooms just behind me, and out through these bifold doors, we have the outdoor entertaining area. What a spot to sit back and watch the footy. We've got the timber ceilings in here. We've got that feature stone coming back again, just keeping consistent with what we've seen inside. And down at the very back is the fire pit. Just look at the size of this balcony. It's absolutely drenched in sunlight. Now this actually wraps the whole way around the property. Let's go check out the bedrooms. So as we make our way down the hallway to the master, there's a lot to see on the way. This is a very big house if you hadn't gathered yet. So first up, we've got a powder room and there's that black timber veneer that we saw in the kitchen again. And here is the first bathroom. Just like that kitchen, this bathroom has a super monochromatic palette, but it's again brought to life with texture alone. These really cool subway look tiles against the large format porcelain tile is a really cool effect. And how nice is the picture of this ceiling with the sunlights coming through? It's just absolutely drenched in light. So now we've got the laundry, which is playing very heavily on that dark, moody palette. Bedroom, bedroom. Very light and bright in here with the white ceilings as opposed to the timber. And finally, the master. Now those timber ceilings come back into this space. In comparison to the kitchen and living, this space just feels bright and warm. It's almost just like a warm hug. And this is a really cool feature here, hidden TV. Oh my goodness, this ensuite. Big circular bath underneath that circular skylight. That is just amazing. You've got gum trees up there. Might even be lucky enough to see a koala while having a bath. That'd be pretty cool. And this shower, double shower, double vanity. 
Look at the height on that ceiling. Those mosaics go all the way up the top there, completely accentuating that space. And the functionality of having your hand held off to the side, but it's not ruining that seamless look of the darners, that's just perfect in my eyes, very clever. So out these sliding doors from the kitchen and we're looking out over the central hub that is the pool area. Just like this house, it's sleek, it's clean, it's wrapped in that concrete. And you might think that the tour ends there, but you would be wrong because I'm about to take you across to the teenage retreat just on the other side. What a pool area. You've got this raised level beanbag area, a lounge in the sun, even an outdoor bar, and tucked behind that wall there is actually a gym. So this is just essentially a miniature version of the main house. You've got a lot of the same features carrying through like the timber floors and ceilings and these black frame doors with the matching highlight windows. So this is basically just a main living area for the kids. You've got a balcony out there and the first of the bedrooms over here. Very similar to what we saw in the main house, those shears, the high ceilings, and off down the other side, you've got the second of the bedrooms, an ensuite, which is basically just mirrored in layout from the one over there. But this black panelling is just such a lovely moment. It's the first time we've seen this across the home, and I think it's a really nice point of difference in this space. Now, I promise I'm almost finished with this house tour, but there is one last thing I absolutely need to show you. Follow me. PJH literally built a walking track in this house so the owner can go down for a little swim in their own private fairy pool. How gorgeous is that? If you have a favourite feature of this home, definitely let us know in the comments. And thanks for coming on another house tour of ABI Interiors.